Hey guys, it's Alpia Shazabeats here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we start the video and all that stuff, I want to show you this like cute outfit I made. I know, I keep showing off the outfit I make, but yeah. If you guys want me to show you how I make all these like outfits I've been making recently, please comment down below and I'll make sure to do a like a whole like video on that. Today's video, we're going to do a little craft. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but I'm going to inform you guys later on in the video. First off, you might be wondering why are we in a different setting. This is my desk. The reason reason why we're on my desk is because we're crafting today and I always craft my desk and I've been crafting like just a few minutes ago so that's why it's just like paint on my fingers because I was painting something for a craft but you know just ignore that yeah there's like a little thing over there that you can see that's just the characters for my Dear Diary short film. It is coming out soon guys so don't worry I have it all filmed out. Well I need to film like a couple more scenes left and then I'll be good but yeah, it's actually my LPS Bay special, so yeah, it's also my birthday special because LPS Bay is on my birthday, so oh my god, I'm so excited for my birthday, honestly. Let's just get on to the craft right now. Hope you guys enjoy this video and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you do, hit that subscribe button to get notified of when I post videos. Like the video to let me know if you enjoyed and comment down below if you guys want to see more craft videos on how I make clothes and stuff. So yeah, um, let's just get on to it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my Instagram. Oh, why would I go to my Instagram? It's because I have this album, a playlist, I don't know what you call it. Not a playlist, sorry, like an album. Is it an album? I don't know. But yeah, I just like have an album of like all these craft inspirations I really want to do. So I'm just scrolling it through you now and I'm finding one. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick yet, but let's look and see. Okay. Okay, now I found one and we're going to base it off it. I found a picture from the Sovelian family's Instagram. There's so many Instagrams, so I don't know which one this was. I found one and it is of a bakery. I've always wanted to build a bakery just for like sets and stuff. So yeah, why not do one today? I'm going to show you guys what you'll be needing and then we'll get on to the craft right now. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what you need for this craft. So first of all, you need a desk or some sort of surface that you can do this project on and keep it there for a while because you need something because it we this craft is going to be a big one. So first you're going to need a clean, well it doesn't have to be clean, but it, just a smooth surface and it has to be like big okay so i just i know what you're thinking yeah i just moved my computer a bit back but you know i just need this space right here so what you're gonna need is an lps well i like to choose a few i've got some lps on the side here from my crafting earlier so i made some lps clothes so we have jordan here and we have lucas you'll also be needing scissors rubber scissors is back you also need a pencil a marker a rubber tape make sure you have adult supervision when you're doing this because you know sharp scissors scissors are sharp you'll be needing either this glue i have two sorts of glue i have this glue which is this like tacky glue kind of thing i don't know what you call it in america but i think you call it tacky glue i'm not really sure glue stick this glue here which is like this pva glue it's just similar to this tacky glue it's just this one's thicker we also need some sandpaper tweezers I might be telling you guys different materials that you'll be needing that i never mentioned in the beginning of the video it's just off by heart i'm not really sure what you need exactly but yeah these are equipment that i think we're gonna use i mainly use these for all my so that's why I'm putting them here. What I know you definitely need is a cardboard box. I'm going to cut off the lid. Okay, now I've taken that off, so I'm gonna go put this to the side. I'm going to try to get this front piece off. Because I'm using a shoe box, it has lots of tabs, so I'm gonna cut off these front tabs. Guys, you also need masking tape. Now I've cut off all the tabs so it should look something like this. So it basically is just a box with no tabs or anything like that. So if you don't have a shoe box, you can just get some cardboard and basically make a box. I'm going to tape some of the walls together. I'm going to grab my masking tape. So you're going to cut a piece that is around the size of this corner and you just tape it together. As you can see in the inspiration picture, there is an outside part, so I'm going to decorate this outside later. I'm just going to focus on the inside and then I'm going to work the outside. Just ignore that for now. And for your box, you just have to make sure it just folds down like this. Okay, so now you've got the basic structure. I'm going to choose the color I want my walls and my floor to be. You can use scrapbook paper or any sort of paper, color paper, anything. You can use pictures that you printed out from online and just stick it on. 
on the walls. I'm gonna use these cards that I found. I don't know where, but I'm gonna try use it. So I can't use it on the walls because it's not enough. I'm going to use it on the floor and I'm just gonna measure and stick with glue. So this is the glue I'm using right now. I'm sorry you guys can't see much, it's my camera. I don't know like how to rearrange it so you can see everything. You can do this for the walls too. You guys might be wondering what do you mean by measuring cut? Stuck like most of my sheets. There is like a little bit there so I'm going to measure how much there is with a ruler and a pencil. I forgot to tell you guys you need a ruler and then you cut out. So this does have pencil marks on it so I'm going to use my eraser and rub them out and then I'm going to stick it down. I finished sticking them all down. As you can see there is some holes still so if you guys do have some leftover space and you don't have any more fabric that is fine. We can cover that up later. Yeah I'm going to do my walls now. For my background I'm going to use this yellow bronze color. I finished covering the edges. I left this little space here because I'm going to cover it with a different space and there are some more empty spaces that I'm going to in. For the other empty spaces like on the walls, like here and also a little bit here, I'm going to use this wrapping paper. I finally finished sticking on the wallpaper. I want my crafting to be a bakery slash cafe kind of thing. So I want a bit of like a desk, like maybe here, leading people to their seat. So you need some cardboard and I'm just gonna cut it in to a size that I think is reasonable enough for LPS. Make sure it is even. I'm gonna check with an LPS just for comparison. Uh, yeah, that's a good size. So now I'm going to make a few more the same size as this. And then I'm just showing you guys I'm not done stacking, but once you think you have enough then you're going to stick and stack and then you're gonna stack as much as you want to get your desired thickness of how tall you want your desk thing to be so after i don't know how many i've cut um i think one two three four five six seven or eight or something like that it's my desired thickness so now i am going to cover it in some paper that i want the desk to be i'm gonna cover it in this paper so i finished covering it you don't have to cover the bottom if you don't have enough paper. I just did it anyways because I had enough. Now that you're done it, I'm going to stick it where you want your desk to be. Not mine, I want it at the front. You kind of want your desk to be somewhere to cover the spaces you can't cover, I guess. You can use either glue or tacky glue or anything to do. So I'm using this normal glue. And if you do do what I'm doing, make sure you can still like fold this front bit in place like so. Now we are going to make some equipment to put on the desk for example like a laptop and stuff like that not a laptop but you know those like you know those devices that you click on and then you, you go to your table you're gonna use some smaller cardboard and then you're just gonna even out the edges see how much you want the screen to be i think that's a good size now you need to make like a little box using this so you're gonna cut out like the same length basically what i'm saying is you use this cardboard use this measure the length and cut that much I'll stick around here later. I'm gonna cut this in half then, so it can be for the top and the bottom. So for the top, I'll stick it here, and for the bottom, I'll stick it here. And then for the edges, you do the same thing. So I've cut out all the pieces now, and so in total, you should have around five pieces. So one, two, three, four, five. This is the screen and these are the bits that go around it. So now I'm gonna stick it with tacky glue or you can use PVA glue. I use this glue cause it's more thick and it holds things together more. So basically I'm just gonna put it on one end like this and then stick it like that. So it makes an L shape and to make it stick even more, get some glue and just smooth this surface out here and then you're just gonna want to do that for the other sides now so the screen should look something like this with like a box really i just need to make one more side now just over here and then it will be good so i'm now gonna stick this piece on top to make the box like a literal box kind of thing. I'll show you guys what it should look like. So I've just put it on there. Now this will be the screen and this will be like the bottom. Now we'll be needing some paint or you could use like paper like to stick it on. I'm gonna use paint because it's easier so I don't because I don't have any black paint. They're just gonna paint this all black but leave like a little square in the middle and then you're gonna paint that 
white. So I'm gonna draw a square in the middle so I don't go over that box. So I've made the marks. I don't think you can see that. I'm gonna use my black marker and outline it. So now I've outlined it. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. There we go. So now I've outlined it. I'm gonna paint the whole thing black except for this box here. When that dries, I'll paint this middle box white. Or you can paint it blue or anything. So I didn't paint one of the bottom because that's not going to be seen anyways, it's going to be stuck to the table. So now I'm just going to let this dry. I'm going to paint this middle section blue. You can paint it any colour you want. The screen thing to be, you can even draw what this want on the screen. But I'm just going to paint it blue because it's simple. Now I'm just going to let that sit and wait and then yeah, I'll be back when it's dry. So now it's dry so I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to glue this to the table. You can put it any place you really want. I'm also gonna angle it when I stick it down. I'm gonna stick it like that. It will look like that. Now I'm just gonna make a notebook as well to go on there. So you're gonna need some paper and what you're gonna do is you're gonna just fold the paper as many times as you can. You're just gonna do like the window. You can like overlap them. I don't know how to explain it, but look. And then now you're going to get another piece of paper and make it the size of these two pieces Like the back, the front, this first piece and the back piece So it will look like that and that's how you make your own book So now I'm just gonna decorate it to look like menus Okay, so I finished decorating it I just named it bread's menu because this is kind of like a bakery It's messy, I know In here I just drew some lines and then some orange circles or different shapes to indicate the bread and then the lines are just the writing and then yeah you just want to place this on the desk now we just need a clipboard we're gonna need some more cardboard you don't need much this does have a white side so i don't need to paint it or cover or anything but if you guys don't have like like it's not plain on one side then you guys can definitely just like color um cover with paper or paint it white and then you're going to get your piece of paper and make it the size of the card Board. So how I do that is I'm just gonna fold it to fit inside. Now I can cut along the creases and then that's how I know it's the perfect size. I'm just gonna put lines going across the page with my marker and then I'm going to get a green pen. You're going to just put little ticks beside some of the lines. You don't have to do all the lines, just add some of them. And this will be like the reservation list. Not the reservation list, but the list of people like tables taken. I'm I'm gonna just get a another piece of paper. Got some leftover of this bronze wallpaper. I'm just gonna like, take a little bit of that. I'm gonna fold it in half this way. So put it flat again and glue it. And then I'm going to put it over here. And you know how I folded it? You're just gonna fold it back again. And then that's how you make a little clipboard. And you can also glue this down. I'm gonna do that too, just so it doesn't fly everywhere. So now that's done, I'm gonna glue this to the table. That's our little front desk. And then we're gonna need a pencil or a green pen. I'm gonna go get one. I actually have one already prepared from earlier. I'll show you guys how I made it. So here's my green pen. It's really simple. You just basically get a toothpick, color the tip the color of your choice, and then just draw some lines on it. I'm just gonna place it on top of the clipboard like that. And then now we're just basically done with the front desk. And now we can continue on making the tables and everything. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video i know this is just one part i will show you guys the next part in the, my next video that will be like tables and how you make all that i'm really sorry if the video is long if it's too short i just sometimes you gotta have a break so i'm gonna give you guys a break and then yeah we can get onto crafting later on i hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways please subscribe to and if you subscribe hit that bell notification to get notified when i post videos and if you do then you get it notified on when i post my second part to this craft series thing i don't know like the video to let me know if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you guys would like to me to show you how to make DIY clothes hope you guys enjoyed the video again love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next time in part two bye guys